rumor has it there's a whole vi Have you seen Effie Crookshank around? She said she needed me for something. Heart. Rumor has it there's a whole village of refugees somewhere up ahead. going to be very happy that we managed to locate his stolen supplies. He's very particular. I'll be here.
What is it? Take care of Bolton. She's heavy on the enthusiasm, light on the experience. Carry on. <laughs> Welcome to hell. This road is a mess. Welcome to Revival. Can it be? Is it you? I am no fate weaver, but I have seen you in my dreams. You are the fateless one, are you not? As I said, I have seen you in dreams, visions. You search for me, call me by name. You and I will plot a shared path together. And your description matches that of the legendary hero of Mel Senshir. <laughs> Everyone has heard the stories. I knew it. From the moment I saw you enter Revival, I knew you had come for me. You must be here for Telogris, to purge Mithros of his fantasies of unrest. This is good. It is time. Start with Augur, this camp's resident prophet. He styles himself as Telogris's herald, but 
he is a little more than a charlatan and a crook. His small group of followers terrorized the other refugees, relying on theft and coercion for control. Just yesterday, they stole one of my most prized possessions, a family heirloom held in trust for generations. I need someone brave to recover it for me. Someone who knows how to punish the unworthy. As I knew it would. It is a simple request far below your typical tasks, but it is of dramatic importance. For this is how we meet, and we must meet before we can join and set out to change the world. I suspect that Augur's chief scoundrel, Tuvan, is responsible for my missing necklace. He was struck by its bright gemstone. Can you believe this guy? I've seen a lot of false prophets in my time, but this one's in a class of his own. Calls himself Augur. He preaches freedom from faith, devotion to Telogras, as if chaos will make any of our lives better. I have a feeling it's an act. I've got a sense for these sorts of things. Ever since he and his brood arrived in camp, they've been stirring up trouble. Nothing criminal, but a hair's breath from it. What else can you expect from Chaos worshippers? They see themselves as resistance fighters, rebels against predestination. But I'm worried there's more to it, at least with Augur and his deputies. They like having all this power. Predictably, he won't say much about his past. We did our best to run down some leads, but they turned up nothing. He preaches Chaos hope. But I think he's a common crook under all that bluster. Most prophets usually are. The people here love him, though. He promises to cut them free from the hardship they've known all their lives. What's not to like about that? I'm smart enough to take help where I can get it. <laughs> the war taught me that. Talk to Katarina Hoffman over at the camp warehouse. She's the quartermaster. And she's had a lot of trouble lately. Tell her Kirby sent you, and she'll know you're trustworthy. Watch for trouble. Regardless of what the law sworn say. Okay, okay, don't hurt me. I'm only minding my own business. You're the one who talked to me, remember? Sorry, I'm, I'm a little twitchy. Time in revival hasn't exactly been encouraging. So what if I love talking about the hero of Mel Sinshia or the Fateless One, as some people prefer? That's no reason to pick on me. Ah, just some creeps who are frustrated with our lack of progress. They can't get past the gates, so they take out their anger on me. It's not fair, but what can I do? I'm a rancher, not a soldier. I raise sheep. My closest friends are rabbits and chickens. I bet nobody bothers you. Too big, too imposing. If only I had your muscle. Or the hero of Melson Shear. Ah, oh, if only that were true. They'd have no choice but to leave me alone. You're a funny one. I didn't expect jokes, but I appreciate the attempt at humor. But let's be serious. If you're willing to confront these bullies, it would change everything. Dink probably wouldn't even want to fight. He's a braggart, but a coward at heart. to hurt anybody. No weapons even. All that's needed is for these bullies to see that I'm not alone. They can't simply terrorize anybody they want. 
If we don't stop them now, who will they come after next? The first one you should talk to is Dink. He's a disgraced soldier who gets off on pestering people like me. You've got this. We haven't met. I'm Baldur Bergman. It's nice to see a new face in camp, though I'd be remiss if I didn't warn you. Revival's wonderful, but we have our fair share of trouble. Most recently, a series of kidnappings, including my daughter Heidi. I'm a representative for the families of the Taken. I speak for those who've been affected by the abductions. And we don't know. The preordained prey on the zeal of their recruits. They don't need to kidnap them. And we don't see much of the Red Legion of the Freemen this far west. As far as we know, it could be anyone. Most of us are merchants, craftsmen, or farmers. We don't have the skills for a posse, and the war sworn are stretched too thin. We don't know what to do next. Very few. But all the missing settlers had one thing in common. They went searching for firewood in northwestern forests. It's a treacherous area, dense, rocky ground, some caves. Watch your step and keep your eyes open. Interesting. I've been wondering whether they're bringing a hired sword. I assume the Warsworn would be interested in the extra coin, or they have their hands full with the Niskaru. If you're willing, we'd gladly take you up on the offer. We can't offer much, but we'll do our best to make it worth your while. Almost all the abductions took place in the north of camp, near the western woods. Goodbye, my friend.